Hello friends, Tony here, welcome. Uh, in this video I'm going to install Laravel 45 in our backend project. Let's go and let's see packages. We have a 45 here. Let's install the 45. I'm going to copy this command. Maybe let's zoom it a little bit. Okay, like this. And let's open the terminal. And here I'm going to install that. Then let's say PHP Artisan 45 install. Okay, and migrate. So add the two factor columns to user's table. I'm going to clean this. And let's open the VS Code now. Here we have the C and the composer.json. We have also the Laravel 45, Sanctum and the framework. And also the Tinker. Good. Now I'm going to go inside the app. We have actions. Here we have the 45. We have the create new user action. We have the password validation rules. Uh, reset the user password, update user password and update user profile information. Now this comes from the uh, 45. If I go to controllers, we have also auth controller which comes with that API we installed. We created the project using the API. But I'm not going to use this. I'm going to use the 45 uh, actions for the authentication. Okay. Next, let's go to config and I'm going to go to fortify.php. We have the guard web password users. Username is going to be email and also the email email. Home is going to be slash home, home path. We have the prefix, which is uh, right now an empty string and domain is null. So fortify routes prefix. We have the middleware web limiters for login and two factors. Views, we have the true. Well, we don't need views because we are going to work with uh, VGS. And here we have features. The registration, reset password, update profile information, two factor authentication and so on. Which uh, right now I don't need them. So I'm going to comment. And also let's comment this uh, reset password for now. And leave only the registration. I'm going to save that. And let's open the terminal again. And here I'm going to say artisan route list. And yeah, we have the get login, post login, uh, post logout, get register, post register and so on. Also, we have this Sanctum CSRF cookie because we use Sanctum and we need to get the cookies in order to uh, the Laravel project, the backend project, uh, know that this front end has the right cookies. But we need all the authentication, so the login, logout, and so on to be in the slash API and slash, for example, login, slash API, slash logout, API slash register and so on. How we can do that? Because we are using now Fortify, we can change this on the prefix. We can say the API. If I save this and run again now the, let me run again the route list. Yeah, we have API slash login, API login here, but we have also the login here, logout, register and reset password and that is because let's go in routes web route we have this required dear slash out of php and we have all the routes using the controllers in here but, but as i told you i'm not going to use controllers i'm going to use the actions so i deleted now the auth uh, directory and also I'm going to delete this auth.php 
and just go to web remove also this one from here let's save and now try again route list hit enter yeah now we have only the api login and so on we have also the sanctum and the storage and app that's it what we need because we are going to use only for the api the laravel project okay let's come here let's close this now let's open the vs code the sorry the view project i'm going to open the new terminal here and let's cd back and cd in the front end cd vue.js and cd in the i think we have named front end yeah i'm going to open this with windsurf and let's zoom it also this one okay now let's go inside the source directory we have the router and we have views here i'm going to create a new directory and i'm going to name it out and inside the out i'm going to create the register page register.view i'm going to create another file which is going to be the login login.view and let's create another file for example the dashboard dot view so dashboard dot view okay now let's go inside the router index.ts uh, i don't we don't need this about view so let's delete this here we have the home just let me copy this paste it here the path for the register the name is going to be register and let's import the register here okay and i see here we have the view if you like you can say for example the register view but i like to have something like this because we are inside the views okay and also when we import we know that this is from the view good this is for the register then let's create for the login okay so slash login is the path of the name login just let's import the login page and the last one is for the dashboard so let's say path dashboard name dashboard and instead of something like this i'm going to say just component and here i'm going to import the dashboard view okay let's remove this one here i'm going to save let's go to uh, register and just scaffold here a uh, view component i want the script to be a setup okay and also we need a lang to bts then we need also the template and inside i'm going to say register i'm going to save this select and do the same thing for the login save and go to dashboard paste that in and just say dashboard here okay i'm going to save now let's run the npm run dev let's open the project in the localhost 3000 uh, right here so refresh and yeah we have the laravel view if i navigate now to slash login we have the login here as you can see change that uh, register we have the register and also if i change that the uh, dashboard 
we have the dashboard. Good. Next, what we need to do is to register the user. Right now, just let me. I think I have Insomnia here. Okay, I'm going to make a new HTTP request. The post request, because if I open the backend, say out artisan out list for the register, I'm going to say post to API slash register composer. run dev and here we to open the project in this directory so just copy this url come here and paste it slash api slash register okay i'm going to make a post request to slash api slash register on the body now i'm going to say uh, json and we need the send the let's open the VS Code because in the app actions create new user we have a validator here we need the name email and the password and also the password confirmation so let's say name to be Tony for example uh, email is going to be let's say just test email dot com password is going to be just a string password and the password confirmation we need the password confirmation which is going to be just a string password again. Okay, let's see. Now, if I say send, we have 419. And that's it because we need to have the cookies. We need to make a request. Let's come here. And I'm going to stop this and just run again the route list. We need to make a request, a sanctum. CSRF cookie first to make a post request because right now we can make a get request for example let's say just get and I'm going to make a users here slash API slash users and let's see let's open the VS code let's go to routes API I'm going to create a new route here route get And instead of this one, I'm going to say just user get all the users, user all. So route get slash users. Save. Now, if I come here and make a get request to users, hit send. We don't need the body here. Yeah, I forgot to add the run the composer run dev. So composer run dev. And now let's come here and send again. Yeah, we have an empty array because we don't have any users, but we can make a get request. To make a post request, we need first to make a request to get the cookies. So the Laravel backend knows so that this is the uh, front end which we allow for from the course. So let's go back. And let's go to config. We have Sanctum here. So the stateful, we have the Sanctum stateful domains. And here we have the front end URL. Okay, it's going to be the local host 3000. And if you want, we can update this change or we can put the front end URL on the .env file. So we have front end URL right now points the or front end url okay friends i think this is a long video i'm going to stop here and create another video 
when we are going to work with uh, view project to uh, create a new user, to register a new user. That's it all about this video. Now, if you like such a video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like the video, share with your friends, and see you in the next one. All the best. Thank you very much.